Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this presentation. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process on how to search the excluded parties list at the System for Award Management. And uh, why is this important, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. If you have a federal grant and you award subgrants with those funds or you hire contractors to perform some services for you, you first need to verify if they're even eligible to receive federal funds. That is, if they've been suspended or debarred by the federal government, uh, you can't do business with them if, if you're going to charge those costs to your grant. Um, and you should probably you know, check this database before you either issue a subaward or a contract uh, because if you find out they're ineligible after the fact, any monies that you paid out could be disallowed by the funding agency and your organization would be on the hook for all those expenses. So, of course, you don't want that, hap that to happen. So, before you get into a subaward or a contract, what you do is you first you go to sam.gov, S-A-M, like Sam I am, dot gov, and this is the home screen. And you want to click on Search Records. Mm -hmm. Click on Search Records. Hey, there we go. Well, that wasn't very effective. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I don't edit videos. I don't have that type of skill yet, so you're just getting everything raw and unfiltered and uncensored. Well, hopefully censored. I'll try not to I'll try to keep this PG-13. All right, anyway, so now, um, easiest way to start is just by using the quick search box down here. You can type in a uh, company's name, their DUN, DUNS number, or their cage code if you happen to know that. If you want to search on multiple, multiple names or employee identification numbers, stuff like that, you have some advanced search options over here on the right. So if you're going to work with someone, uh, I'm just going to use my company name as an example. And lo and behold, there I am. Whew. Oh, thank goodness. Nice green box saying that I am indeed an entity and Right below that has my DUNS number, uh, active exclusion, no. So I am good to go. The federal government can contract with me, and other agencies can pay me out of their grant funds. Now, once you search a company's name, if it comes back green and you're good to go, what you want to do, take it to the next level. Clear the search, start over again, and you'll want to search on a few like key employee names, like a CEO or executive director, maybe a finance director, uh, the project manager in charge of overseeing the subaward or the contract, and anyone else res responsible for managing the project or federal funds. Because what happens is suspensions and debarments. Uh, apply to individuals, and an organization might not show up in the excluded parties database, but it might have hired someone that was suspended while working at a previous employer, and the the suspensions they follow you around, and it's nothing to take lightly because you just don't get suspended or debarred for minor violations. Uh, if an organization or individual has <laughs> achieved that uh, that status, uh, they earn it by committing fraud or theft or some other serious crime. So you want to check out individuals as well. And I'm just going to use my name. Search on my name and uh, see who... Huh, okay. Got three pages, only 29 pages of... 29 pages of, or 29 results for uh, Farley, huh? That's pretty rare. All right, we'll see. Let's see. There's some companies. Companies, there should be some individuals. 
All right, everyone on the first page is fine. So what you want to do, if, if you have a whole bunch of results, you can, over on the left, boop, 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 hold on. You can click to filter it even further by just going for the exclusions. And, okay, search tips, yep, 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 sure thing. Got it. And, oh, here we are. 14 folks with exclusions. Now here, you'll see the individual's names and that purple box with the word exclusion, that is a red flag. So you can, like James D. Farley, and by the way, none of, none of these are relatives. You can view details that gives you a little more information about what happened. Um, when it occurred, um, indefinite, mm -hmm. which department they received their uh, suspension or debarment from, and then a little, little more detail here. So that's it. I mean, that's essentially the nuts and bolts of searching the excluded parties list. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty simple. But you got to do it if you're going to spend any federal dollars on subgrantees or contractors. Again, it's just it's not worth it. It takes two seconds to check this database, um, and it will save you a whole bunch of potential headaches. So always make sure to check this database. If you have any questions about this, just feel free to reach out to me at my website, thegrantdoctors.com or on social media at The Grant Doctors on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Bye.